This is the Unit 5 Review Guide for ELR 5.6. The questions for 5.6 are all about graphing, and most of the questions are about this first graph on your screen right now. The first one says, which of the liquids did not freeze? This one is a tempting question to say, well, they all froze, because you've been so far trained to think that any time there's a flat line, that that's going to be a freezing point, and it seems like they all have a flat line. However, Hopefully you remember that there is one other case where there can also be a flat line, and that's where the temperature of the room matches up with the temperature of the substance. Think about it like a cup of water that you just leave sitting out on a table. Eventually that cup of water is going to get to the same temperature as the room. It just takes enough time and it'll get there. So that's why this information is useful. It says that the temperature of the room is 15 degrees. If you look at A, it looks like it has its phase change before it dips down that far. B, same thing, had that phase change before it got down to 15. But C has its phase, it has its flat line, I should say, right on top of 15, which suggests that the temperature of the room is what's affecting this flat line, not a phase change. So C is the right answer there. The next question says, what is the freezing point of liquid C? How do you know? Well, we don't. We don't know. We don't know because we all we know is that it made it down to the room temperature. If the room or the environment had been a colder temperature, maybe we might know. But based on the data that we have, we can't know. Number 21. Which two liquids could be the same substance? Well, the two liquids that could be the same substance is... R, R, A, and B. The reason is is because they have the same uh, phase change point, and we're, we're led to believe that these are freezing points. So we're going to say A and B because they phase change at the same temp. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're for sure the same material, but it would be a strange coincidence if you had two liquids that changed uh, phases at the exact same temperature. That would be rare. Number 22. Why did the temperature of the liquid flatline? Now we're talking about this new graph off to the right on your screen. The reason why these temperatures are, yeah, the reason why the temperature flatline is because of two reasons. Reason number one, phase change. Reason number two, room temp. It could be either of those. We don't have enough data for sure to make a judgment call. Number 23, why didn't the temperature go up again after the liquid started boiling? So now they're telling us that this is a boiling point. Okay, so why didn't the temperature go up after the liquid started boiling? That's because phase change kept happening. So if you imagine happening, if you imagine a pot of water that you set on top of your stove and you let it boil, and if it was a lot of water, it could probably boil for quite a long time. On this graph, it just keeps going and then stops right here. We don't know what happens after that, at least not on the graph. So the reason why it doesn't go up again is because the phase change hasn't finished. As long as there's still water boiling away inside of that pot, the steam can't the steam is the next phase, the steam won't be able to start gaining temperature again. Number 24. Which beaker of water, A or B, had more water in it? Well, in this graph, they both rise up to the exact same boiling point. We did this during our phases of water lab, or boiling water lab. Basically, you have to think about it like this. If you had two cups of water, or two beakers of water sitting on a hot plate, and one of them was just a little bit, and one of them was a whole bunch of water, which one is going to take longer to boil? Looks like A started boiling, or flattened out, at this time, and B flattened out much later. So B must have more water in it, because it took a lot longer for it to boil. So B took longer to boil. Last one on the paper, number 25. Did the amount change its boiling point? So this was the whole point of the lab that we did in class when everybody got different amounts. Since both of those lines flatten out at the same temperature, that's the boiling point. It took them at different times to get there, but the amount 
did not change the boiling point.